Welcome back to a very special edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. Now, Thanksgiving for the Vikings came early this year when we were able to work out a trade for TJ Hawkinson, tight end from the Detroit Lions. So what exactly does this mean for the team and what does TJ add to this ball club? Well, as always, let's look at the film to see what the Vikings are getting in this trade. Now, when you watch TJ Hawkinson on film, I think the first thing that jumps out at you are his hands. This guy is an unbelievable pass catcher in this first play against the Philadelphia Eagles you're gonna see exactly that. You'll see him to the right of your screen. Now we're looking at the end zone because this gives you the best view. He's just gonna run this route across the middle, across from the linebacker, underneath the safety, and when that ball gets to him, he lays out for this football. What a grab, kind of double catches it, brings it down. The Eagles are saying he didn't catch it. Well, folks, he caught that football. Unbelievable pair of hands on this guy. This time, you'll see TJ Hawkinson's flexed out toward the top of your screen just underneath the numbers. So in this case, they're coming out with two tight ends set, but they're using him as a wide receiver, just like the Giants used to do with Shockey. But one-on-one, -on -one, as he gets off the line of scrimmage, you'll see him press that corner, get that corner to open up a little bit. The throw is a little bit late, but watch him extend his body in between the hashes. It takes courage to do that and bring this football down. Another great reception by TJ. And finally, from the what a catch segment, you're gonna see Hawkinson at the bottom of your screen, line up as a tight end in a two-point stance. But watch this route. Now, the Seattle Seahawks are covering him with a safety. He gets himself up the field and knows, has that feeling. He presses that safety, gets that safety to stop in the back pedal and square up. And then he works his way out toward the sideline. Now look where that ball was delivered so high away from the defensive back. He's able with his six foot five height to extend, bring that thing down, a huge first down for the Detroit Lions. Okay, so we know about his hands, but the other part that he brings is run after the catch. These next couple plays are absolutely amazing. And this first one, you're gonna see Hawkinson flexed out at the top of your screen. Now this is just a regular out route, nothing special. It's just what he does after he catches the football. That's incredible. He runs that seven route, gets to the corner, makes that catch, makes one man miss, and almost gets himself into the end zone to the 12 yard line, but it's that run after catch that we haven't seen here in quite some time. Now in the run after catch category, this one is unbelievable. You'll see Hawkinson go in motion across behind the line of scrimmage. He's just gonna line up on that hash mark and run a simple drag route across the screen. Makes the catch, but there's no one on him. He has about five yards between he and the nearest defender. That first guy swing and a miss, and now the big guy is rolling. And yeah, he's getting caught by some folks, but he decides, eh, hey, I'm gonna cut this thing back inside the 10 yard line. Gets all the way down to the four. Unbelievable stiff arm, run after catch. This guy in the open is dangerous. Now with any tight end, red zone, that's where you live. At six foot five, this guy definitely can get it done in the red zone. You'll see TJ Hawkinson flexed out at the bottom of your screen. He just pauses on the line of scrimmage, lets the receiver run, again, that legal kind of interference pattern, wheels it around, wide open, and he's able to get up, catch that ball. That gives a quarterback so much ability to throw that thing up in the air, let him go up after it and get it, brings it down for the touchdown. Another great example in the red zone, you see Hawkinson at the bottom of your screen. They're gonna motion another receiver over and snap the football when the two of them are about right on top of one another. He gets up and he sees that linebacker on the inside, the safety over the top, and then bends that thing out because he knows that corner has to run with the wide receiver. Gets just inside that pylon, beautiful throw and catch, taps his toes inside, touchdown for the Lions. Now, the other thing about TJ Hawkinson is he's a, really a matchup nightmare. And teams that think that they can cover him with a tight end, well, he makes them pay for it. And you're gonna see this against the Seattle Seahawks. They have about five guys on the line of scrimmage. That means they're gonna have a linebacker trying to cover him. On the snap of the football, you see Hawkinson getting up the field. That linebacker opens up to him, jams him, but he's able to keep his feet, runs the switch route. The linebacker still looking back at the quarterback, has no idea where Hawkinson is gone. Easy catch, easy touchdown. You can't cover this guy with a linebacker alone. Well, you need more proof? Here's one against the Chicago Bears. You'll see the running back motions himself out of the backfield, pulls out the one linebacker. That leaves Hawkinson one-on-one. -on -one. 
with the linebacker from the Bears right at the middle of the field. And it's this route that he runs. It's the snag route, meaning he's going to try to act like he's going across the field, hook back away from him. The linebacker jumps him. But the quickness, the lateral quickness to get himself open, another great catch extending between the linebacker and the safety. That play may just move the chains, but that's a beautiful route. We've seen him as a receiver. We've seen him as a red zone receiver. We've seen him matched up against the linebacker. What about the tight end screen? This guy excels at this as well. On this play, you'll see him flexed out to the outside. He blocks. That's why this screen, he sells it. He turns himself out. Watch the offensive line, however. Three guys in front of him. They kick out the safety. He cuts himself back in. He puts that right foot down, runs another safety over, gets another eight yards. This guy can do it all. And finally, another, I think, just underground aspect of this guy is his ability to block. And I can't wait to see what Kevin O'Connell on our offense decides to do with him. On this first play, you're going to see position blocking. This means he's got angles, but they're not afraid to use him to block a defensive lineman. He goes inside. He's going where the big men live, and he sees 97, the defensive tackle. Doesn't get blocked. He's free. Boom. Comes down. Does a great job of just walling him off. And this is a huge run by DeAndre Swift early on in this game. So you can use him off the ball, position blocking a defensive lineman. All right, we've seen him block a defensive lineman. How about a linebacker on this play? Left side of your screen. Watch him bend himself back in. Butts up on the linebacker. Gets the running back inside. Another great play. Another great positional block by TJ. And perhaps the most important place for a tight end to be a blocker is in the red zone. This time the Lions had the ball on about the one yard line. And you see Hawkinson going in motion back behind the quarterback. He comes down, hits this DB. Makes contact, but watch him finish this block. He pushes him all the way into the pile, wipes out two or three defenders in the process, allows running back to bounce outside, and it's an easy touchdown. So overall, we let the film prove that this guy, TJ Hawkinson, can do just about anything you ask him. As a receiver, great set of hands. Can't cover him with the linebacker. Very smart, knows coverages, knows how to get open, but it's the running game his blocking in the running game, which I think might be the best asset to this offense. And I cannot wait to see this guy in purple and how the Vikings use him.